OK, so how do we expand upon binomial expansion? OK, so how do we introduce it so that if I want to expand something like 1 plus x to the n, where n does no longer have to be um, a positive integer, how can I extend that? Well, it is extended by um, something that's called Maclaren series. Okay, and it was invented by a Scottish mathematician, um, uh, Colin Maclaren. Okay, and it is a specific case of another thing called a Taylor series. Now. What I'm going to show you here is a bit above our pay grade, okay? So we don't need to know this, but it's nice to give kind of a, a reason for where this thing comes from, because you'll learn, a lot of you will learn it as just something from the formula booklet, okay, that we use. But it's worthwhile kind of knowing that there is some mechanics working behind the scenes, okay? So um, the... McLaren series works like this. If you take a function of x, okay, now this function of x um, could really be anything you like, and that's why uh, it's very useful because it's quite a generalized case. So f of x is equal to f of 0 plus the first derivative of f with 0 substituted in, so evaluated at 0, times x, plus the second derivative of, x, of f, uh, evaluated at 0, divided by 2 factorial x squared, plus the third derivative, uh, evaluated at 0, over 3 factorial x cubed, and you can see how this is going. And it goes on and on and on forever. So effectively, what you can do is you can use this to approximate uh, a curve So for small uh, amounts. So for uh, 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 parts close to 0. Okay. So if you're looking at the curve like sine x or cosine of x, then you could use uh, McLaren series to approximate the curve close to zero by a polynomial, okay? And the more terms you actually build, uh, the more accurate your polynomial gets towards the curve. And it's quite nice to uh, build these terms up and put them into a graphing package like uh, Autograph of Desmos. And you, then you can see how the curve is built up and approximated by this polynomial. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find a way of uh, using this function of x, okay, 1 plus x to the n. So what we're going to need is we're going to need obviously the derivatives, okay, so if this is my f of x, then f prime of x is the first derivative. Okay, so the power comes down to the front. Uh, the derivative of what's inside comes outside. Thankfully, the derivative of inside is 1. Okay, so we're going to have n 1 plus x to the n minus 1. Okay, and then f double prime of x. Uh, the power comes down to the front, so n, n minus 1, 1 plus x to the n minus 2, and then f. The third derivative will be n times n minus 1. The power comes down to the front. n minus 2, 1 plus x to the n minus 3. OK? And then we're going to need to evaluate it at 0. OK? So we're going to need uh, f. So we're going to need f of 0 to start off with. So f of 0 is 1 plus 0 to the n. And so 1 to the n is just going to be 1 f prime of 0, okay, is, uh, well, x is 0, so we have 1 to the power of n minus 1, so that's just 1, and so that's just n. And then we're going to have f 
double prime of zero. So one, so that's just one, okay, because x is zero. So one to the n minus two is just one. So we have n times n minus one. And then maybe you can guess what this next one's going to be. Uh, this is just going to be one again. We're going to have the n, n minus one, n minus two, okay? So what do we have? We've got one plus x to the n is equal to f zero, which is one, plus f prime zero, which is n times x, so n x, plus f double prime zero over two factorial, so n, n minus one over two factorial uh, x squared, plus, next term, f triple prime zero, so n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 factorial, x cubed, and so it will go on. Okay, so this is our expansion of 1 plus x to the n. Okay, and this is what is given to you in the formula booklet. It may not look exactly like that, uh, but... Um, it is precisely this, okay? So if we just have a look at what we've got. So, where are we? Um, this is in the formula booklet on uh, page two, and you'll see it as a general case, okay? One plus x to the n, 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. And then it's got a general term rather than the, the uh, next term, the x cubed term. And then it says right at the end that uh, this only works when mod x is less than 1. So x is between minus 1 and 1. And n here is taken to be a, any real number. Okay, so that allows it to be uh, the value n there to be minus 1, um, minus 100, minus 100 over 3, uh, 5 sevenths, uh, whatever you like. You could have it as pi if you like. Okay, any real number and it will work. Okay, that expansion will work for us. So that is where this uh, expansion comes from. It comes from uh, a specific case of the McLaren series, okay, uh, which looks like this. Now I know that, you know, I, I've pulled that out of thin air as well, so, you know, you might even like getting to that point to understanding that is even further above, okay, where we are at the moment. But don't worry about that. This is the formula that we're going to be working with. But it's nice to see that we can just use the skills that we've learned, the differentiation skills, to use this mathematics um, in order to get to this formula here.